It's okay, sweetheart. Nobody should be asking you about that knife. Okay? What's the matter with you? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You need, you, you need to rest. That's what you need to do right now. You understand me? I don't know what time anything happened. Ethan was so mad, and I didn't mean to make him so mad. Listen. This is not your fault. Okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take uh, Jason outside. i got to talk to him about something, okay? Okay? Whatever happened in there can't happen again. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what happened. Christy, she already told us what happened. Okay, look, you should be taking care of the situation instead of having her relive what that animal did to her. The time, the, the timeline is off. Timeline? What timeline? Chris, what do you mean? Christina said that Ethan showed up right after Sam left, but Sam drove straight to the Haunted Star and got into an argument with Ethan. So Christina's confused about the timeline. What difference does no, that make? I'm just saying that Alexis' house is about 20 minutes from the Haunted Star, and Christina thought that Ethan showed up about five minutes after Sam. When a kid gets beat up, you don't know from time. You don't know when it starts, what happened before, what happened after, when it's over. You can't fight. You can't fight back because if you cry, then you're going to get it worse. So all you can do is try to catch your breath. And then you, you curl up in a ball and you, you're numb. And you can't go anywhere until it's over. Time doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is getting through. That's why Christina can't remember the time, because that's what that animal, Ethan, put my daughter through. You're supposed to handle it. Why is he still breathing? Okay, because Ethan is Luke's son. And before we do something that we cannot take back, we need to be sure. Ethan did this. There's no other DNA. Looks pretty cut and dry. How, it's Luke's son. I, how, how could how could anybody do this to my daughter? I mean, she's 17. She's 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 tiny. She can't defend herself. I mean, any anyone who would do this is sick. They're they're depraved. Alexis. Ethan told us that Christina scratched him. That proves he's telling the truth. He drove her to the hospital. He swears he's innocent. She made mistakes. I know that. She admitted it. She said she broke up Ethan's date with someone else. She said she showed up at the Haunted Star and made a scene. And, and she embarrassed him. And then he beat the hell out of her. That's pretty cut and dry. We still have to prove it. If you need more evidence, Mick, you find it. Because if he beats these charges, Sonny will go out and find him and kill him, and that will make it a lot worse for my daughter. When you found out I was your brother, you wanted the whole family to get along. You know, you stood by me, and now if you're taking Christina's word over I don't know mine, what to believe. Why would Christina lie? I don't know. Why would Christina show up here at the Haunted Star and start hitting on me? I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm blameless. You know, I lost my temper when she threw a drink in my face. I yelled at her, I grabbed her by the arm, but I did not go back over to her house and beat the poor girl senseless. Some people lose control. I would never hit a woman, okay? I would, I'd steal her money, I'd break her heart, I'd lie to her face, but what happened to Christina? That's not in me, that's not me. Okay, then, then prove it and stay here until Dad gets back. Luke's not answering his cell, okay? He could be in Vegas or he could be in Istanbul by now. Yeah, but if you run, you're going to look guilty and Sonny's going to find you no matter where you are. I don't know. Australia's a pretty big place. He is still going to find you. And, and, and you're going to spend the rest of your life looking over your shoulder until he does. So if you stay and you keep telling people that you're innocent, Sonny's hands are tied. He's not going to do anything that he'll have to explain to our father. That's a lovely sentiment, really, but... Sonny's gonna kill me either way, you know, even if it does trash his friendship with Luke. And you know what the best part is? Luke would understand. I mean, can you imagine what he would do to Dante if he was accused of beating you the way Christina was beaten up? I mean, come on. Okay, I just, I don't, 
I don't want you to misunderstand me. I think Sonny is a hateful pig, so this isn't about me having any faith in him. I just know the players, and I know that he's not going to want to piss off our dad. So if you stay, you have a chance. If you leave, you look guilty, and you make it that much easier for Sonny to make you disappear. Hey, uh, I'm calling the girls to bring us some drinks, all right? If you send them back or you say one thing about living a healthy lifestyle, you aren't going to have a life. Do you read my lips? Dante, who let you in? You know what? Everyone keeps talking about how Sunny's Island is paradise. You know, they're right. This place is fantastic. How did you two get lucky enough to get sent down here? Look who's here. It's just a little strange that Sonny would send three of his essential people, you two and Bernie, on vacation when all hell is breaking loose in Port Charles. Bernie let you in. No, no, no. I, I just came in the main entrance. I just ignored all the signs that said private area, but you just confirmed that Bernie's here, so thanks for that. Dante, you shouldn't be here. Yeah, I guess it isn't that strange that you guys are all down on the island. Maybe Sonny's given up. Figured out that he's just going to go to prison for whacking his wife. Poor Charles is crazy right now. You turn on the TV, you open up a newspaper, it's all they talk about. Sonny Corinthos is going to be found guilty. The trial hasn't even started. It starts tomorrow. What was that? I didn't hear anything. No? There's no one else here with you guys? Uh, uh, I'm not surprised that I'm the father, but I can tell you Disappointed? At least now we know. Yeah. Well, I had a second test ordered, just so you know, from an independent lab out of state. The results will be back in a few days. Why? You think how long tampered with these results? Yeah, well, it just it pays to take precautions when my grandmother's involved. <sighs> hey, maybe there's still hope, right? <laughs> it's okay, I'm not gonna put my life on hold waiting for the second test. What do you want to do, Elizabeth? I want to get well, check out a Shady Brook, and go home to my kids. Really, how do I fit into that? I mean, now that I'm officially the father.